This is a simple phasing direct conversion receiver, covering from 2 to 8 MHz. Many parts of the receiver are covered in some of my previous videos, which I'll provide links to below. We'll go through each stage and then demonstrate the receiver. The local oscillator for the receiver is generated by this Arduino controlled direct digital synthesizer. The Arduino is just a standard board, in this case a kit in from Freetronics. Into that board is plugged the DDS module, which is an AD9850. That has a maximum frequency of around 30 or 40 megahertz. Because of the configuration of this receiver, the local oscillator must be four times that of the received frequency. The rotary encoder I'm using was salvaged from an old clock radio. It's not the greatest and it sometimes skips a step or two when I turn it. I did a previous video on an Arduino based DDS VFO and I suggest you watch that for a few more details. I haven't made a lot of changes. The only thing I've done is I've changed the programming in it so that the frequency display is one quarter of the actual frequency of the VFO. That's required because of the detection and mixing scheme I'm using. If you're building a DDS VFO, I would definitely program it so that you have the higher steps and then when you press the button, you go into the lower frequency steps. That's so that you can easily and quickly get to the band that you wish to tune. And then once you find some signals, you can tune them in at finer intervals. Another thing I did when changing the programming, I set it up that when you connected one of the inputs, I think it was A5 to Earth, the frequency would change by about 3 kilohertz. Of course a quarter of 3 kilohertz is 750 hertz, which is a good frequency for a CW offset if you're going to be using this as part of a direct conversion CW transceiver. Incoming signals come through the antenna socket into a front end pre-selector circuit comprising a tuned circuit and a BC548 transistor RF preamp. The circuitry near my thumb is not part of this project but these two transistors are. This is a two transistor buffer circuit which amplifies the very small signal from the output of the DDS VFO. That step up in level is required for the subsequent stage. At the heart of the receiver is this board, which should be familiar since I described it only a couple of videos ago. It comprises a 74HC74, which takes the signal from the DDS VFO and divides it by four. There's also two outputs, which is important for the subsequent stage. Those two outputs are the same in frequency, but phase shifted by 90 degrees. Mixing is done here, between the two 7 MHz signals coming in from the DDS VFO and the divider, and the incoming signal, also on 7 MHz, if we're receiving 40 meters. The 74HC4053 stage is described in more detail in my binaural receiver video, the audio output from the 74HC4053 mixer stage goes into this audio phase shift circuit. It's the same one as used in the Polish SSB transmitter I described a couple of years ago. I'll include a link to that video as well. Moving along here, we have some audio filtering. I'm using small RF chokes and electrolytic capacitors. The purpose of this is to cut off frequencies above about 3 kHz and to provide reasonable selectivity. It does this without any need for a crystal filter. I can use small values of inductance because I'm doing the filtering at a low impedance. In this case, this is a 1K to 8 ohm transformer and this one on the right is also a 1K to 8 ohm transformer with the 8 ohm sections facing this filter. Finally, we have the audio amplifier. Apart from the RF preamp, this is where all the gain in the receiver is. 
The audio preamp is a LM833, which also offers some filtering, and the audio amp, an LM386. It's a straight copy from the circuit of the MDT 40 meter double sideband transceiver kit. Not including the DDS VFO and the Arduino, this circuit uses four ICs and three transistors. As you'll hear in the following demonstration, its performance is quite good. This is a beacon on 3699 and we are currently tuned to it on 3698. This is the audio image because when we tune up in frequency, so that it's now on the lower sideband. It's quite a lot stronger. Slightly disappointing, I'd say the rejection would be 20 dB or worse. The difference with this arrangement, with the divide by 4, is you can get a 90 degrees phase shift over a wide frequency range. That's beneficial if you want to build a transceiver or receiver that covers more than one amateur band. On the other hand, you do need the DDS VFO to be four times the frequency, which in the case of some of the cheaper VFOs isn't so good for the higher HF bands. This is the limiting factor that keeps this receiver under 8 or 10 MHz. Though if a better DDS was substituted, that can be overcome.